Hello and welcome to the video by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I am going to show you how to insert and use a check mark symbol or a tick mark symbol in Excel. I will show you multiple methods of doing this and at the end of the video I will also show you a very cool technique where you can insert a check mark symbol by just double clicking on the cell and it can be really useful while you are creating to-do lists or status update reports. Now before I begin I want to first talk about the two things that there are in Excel which is a check mark symbol and a check box. Now these two are different. So this is a check box here in cell A1 and in cell A2 I have the check mark symbol. A check box is actually a, an object. So if I click on it you can see it is something that floats over the worksheet. So I can place it within a cell but it's still something which is above the worksheet. It's almost like an object like a chart or an image over the worksheet. On the contrary, a check mark symbol is actually something which is within the cell. It's almost as if you have written something. So as you write a text or a formula, similarly you put the check mark symbol. So this is something that would stay with the cell. If you delete the cell, this would get deleted. You can format it. So if I come here, I can change the color. I can uh, change the font style, but I cannot do that with checkbox. So in this video, I am only going to be focusing on the check mark symbol. Now, uh, the first and the most easy way of uh, inserting a check mark symbol is simply copying it and pasting it. So, for example, I have it here. Let me change the formatting and bring it back to normal. What I can do is I can simply copy this and I can paste it where, wherever I want in Excel. And I can do this multiple times. I can do this multiple times in the same cell. I can do this in different lines in uh, the same cell or in different cells. Also, you may notice that there is a difference in the formatting. So this looks a little bit different than this one, but this is because in this case, the, the font was uh, Sego UI symbol. And in this case, the font is Calibri. So uh, based on what font you have selected, your check mark symbol may look a little bit different. So what you can do is if you already have a check mark symbol in Excel, you can simply copy paste it or you can find a checkmark symbol somewhere on the web and you can copy it. So for example, I have this article here and in this article, I provide this here, which you can copy and you can come to Excel and you can paste it here. So this works if you only want to use the checkmark symbol on a couple of times. So for example, you want to manually insert it, then you can copy paste it. Uh, the next method is using keyboard shortcuts. So there are a couple of keyboard shortcuts that you can use. Uh, but the most important thing to know when using a keyboard shortcut to insert a check mark symbol is to change the formatting. And in this case, the font is Wingdings 2. So this is Calibri. But in this case, I would have to change the format to Wingdings 2. So let's say I come to this cell where the font is Calibri and I use this keyboard shortcut Shift P then this would give me something like this. But if I come here and I change this format to Wingdings, then sorry, Wingdings 2, then it gives me the check mark symbol, which I saw here. So you can use the keyboard shortcut Shift P to get this check mark and Shift O to get this cross symbol. Similarly, if you have a numeric keyboard, then you can also use these keyboard shortcut, which is Alt 0252. Now, in this case, the font needs to be Wingdings. So here it was Wingdings 2, but in this case, it would be Wingdings. So I come here, I hold the Alt key and then I press 0252. It gives me something like this, but I can come here and I can change the font to Wingdings and it would immediately give me this. Now, the good thing with this is it's a keyboard shortcut. You can instantly insert it, but you cannot have anything after this check mark symbol in the same cell. So for example, I want to write something here. Let's say I want to write item one. You can see it gives me these symbols. This is because this is not a font that is going to give me alphabets. So if you're using the keyboard shortcut, you can only use it when you have uh, just the the check mark symbol in the cell or the cross symbol in the cell and you do not want anything else. Uh, the next method that I'm going to show you is using the symbol dialog box. Now, if you want to insert any kind of symbol in Excel, be it the check mark, cross box, degree uh, uh, or any kind of symbol, then you can use the symbol dialog box. So to do that, I would go to the home tab and here in sorry, the insert tab 
and here in symbols I have this symbol option when I click on it it opens the symbol dialog box now in this case you would have to select the font as Sego UI symbol because it is where the check mark symbol and the cross symbols are and you would simply uh, identify it so when you select it you scroll down a little bit and then you will find this check mark symbol you simply click on it and it would insert it here you can do it multiple times so you can insert multiple symbols in this case or you can just insert it once and then you can copy paste it now symbols dialog box is really easy and foolproof method so if nothing works this definitely works in all the cases you simply go to symbols dialog box and you insert it here uh, you can also use a formula to insert a check mark symbol so in this case the formula is care which is for character so this gives me the character for this uh, as I code and in this case the formula is cat 252 now see what happens when I enter this formula here so I would enter okay so in this case I have the format as wingdings already but in case you do not have it let's say in this cell I have the formatting as Calibri and I enter this formula which is cat 252 it will give me something like this which is the ANSI character for this uh, value 252 so what I have to do is I can use this formula but I would have to change the font to wingdings now in this case I come here I use this formula which is care 252 now you're seeing these symbols because the formatting is that way but it will give me this check mark or if I come here and I change this to Wingdings, you can see that this changes. Similarly, you can use these formulas to get a different type of check mark or cross symbol. So let's let me quickly show you that. So I will change the formula here. Actually, I can change the formula here. So for 254, this is the kind of symbol that you get. Uh, then you can use care 251. It gives you this here. Again, the formatting has not been changed, so I can change this to wingdings and it gives me this cross symbol. And here I can type care253 and change the font and it gives me this. So these are uh, the symbols that you can get using a formula in Excel. Again, the problem with this is that you cannot use any text before or after this because the font has been changed. So if even if you try and do it, it will give you some, some symbols which uh, you don't really need. But with a formula, you can actually make it dynamic and make it dependent on a cell. So in this case, I have the sales value and I want to quickly find out whether the sale value is above 200 or not. So I can use the symbol here. I can come here. I can say care. Sorry, I'll first use the if formula and I would say if this value is greater than 200, then give me this symbol, uh, which is uh, the check mark or the tick mark else give me care 251 which is the cross mark and now i hit control enter so it gives me these and now i can come here and i can change this to wingdings and you can see instantly i have these check marks and these cross marks uh, which would show me visually whether the target has been met or not now you can also print these so if you are printing reports and dashboards then this can be a really good and visual way of uh, showing whether this has been met or not uh, now I'll show you a very cool method which is using autocorrect autocorrect is something which allows you to use an inbuilt uh, functionality in Excel where Excel identifies some short codes and automatically convert those short codes into whatever you want it to be. For example, if I come here and I enter this short code here, which is C in brackets, see what happens. It would instantly convert it into a copyright symbol. This is what happens. Uh, this happens because Excel already has some inbuilt uh, short codes that you can use and what you can do is you can also create your own short code so for example let's say i want to create a short code where i simply type c mark or check mark or whatever text you want it to be and it instantly converts it into a checkbox uh, sorry a check mark now in this case this is not happening because i have not already done it so let's do it i would go to the file tab click on options here i would click on proofing and I would click on auto correct options in these auto correct option dialog box you can specify what is the text you want to replace and what do you want to replace it with so what I would need is I would have to copy the check mark symbol from here or anywhere if you have it in Excel and I would say 
change the text C mark to this symbol here and I would add it. So what this is going to do is whenever I type C mark, it would convert it into this check mark. So see what happens. I click add, I click OK. Now when I come here and I type C mark and I hit enter. OK, let me see. So as soon as I do this and I hit space or you hit enter, it is going to convert it into a check mark symbol. So this works really well in case you quickly want to write something and you want to get the check mark symbol instantly. For example, I want C mark and then item one and then C mark item two. So it instantly convert these short codes into uh, the symbol that you have uh, specified, which is check mark in our case. You can use it for any other thing. If you want to insert degree symbols or, or cross box, then you can also specify that. A good thing with this is that because we are using this autocorrect option and we are not using a formula or a short uh, a formula or any thing which needs us to change the font, we can actually type something after or before the check mark. So this could be great if you uh, are creating, let's say, a list of items or a to-do list or uh, a product list and you quickly want to specify the check mark uh, before that, then you can do that using this method. Uh, another way you can use uh, check mark in Excel is inserting it using conditional formatting. Uh, so with conditional formatting, you can make it a lot more visual. In this case, I have the sales data and I want to quickly identify whether this uh, value is above 200 or not. Now what conditional formatting does is it uh, uses the value in the cell to identify whether it meets the condition or not. So in this case, because this is blank, I would first have to get the value in this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply get this value here. And you can see I've already applied a uh, check mark and cross boxes here. But let me quickly show you how to do this here also. So I would get these values here. Now these are the values and I want these to con convert it into a check mark if it is above 200 and a cross box if it's less than 200. So I would go to home tab and here in conditional formatting, I have these icon sets. Now this is what I want to use, but in this case, this is already preset. So it would convert everything which is above 33% in this list into a green check mark, everything which is between 33 and 66 into this exclamation box and anything less than 33 into a red cross box. But what I want, I don't want this. I only want the green and the red text. So in this case, I would go to new rule and in the new formatting rule dialog box, I would select icon sets and in icon sets, I would say I only want to show icon. So I do not want the value here. I only want the icons and I can change the icon to this icon set. And here is where I can specify the value. So as of now, it says if it is less than 33 percent, then red and then this one and more than 33 percent, it would be green. So I'm going to change this and I would say instead of the percent, make this number if this is more than 200 then this would be green and if it is less than 200 then it would be red now it automatically changes this and in this case instead of the exclamation mark i would select the cross symbol and that is it when i click ok it would instantly convert these the numbers go away because i only want to show icons and i get these green and red check marks uh, and these cross boxes cross marks uh, now uh, this is again very good if you want to create dashboards, interactive reports, because if I come here and I change this, let's say I make this 150, this would automatically change. So this also makes your, uh, your lists, your dashboard uh, dynamic, and you can also print these. Now, uh, the final thing that I want to show you is very cool, which is let's say you have a list of tasks here. And what you want to do is you want to quickly insert whether this task has been completed or not. This could be for to-do list or project task lists. And in this case, you can again, obviously go back and use uh, methods such as copying the check mark uh, or using a formula. But in this case, what I really want is make it very user friendly. So I want that as soon as I double click on the cell, this should get a check mark. And as soon as I double click, if there is a check mark, it should go away. So instantly, if you are a project manager, you can go through these tasks and you can quickly identify and just double click and mark that task as done. But to do this, you would have to use VBA because by default, if you double click on a cell, it gets into the edit mode. And this is not what we want. We actually want that when we double click, it inserts the tick mark. So I have this VBA code here already. I would uh, also 
put this in the description below this video and you can also go to my website trumpexcel.com and I have this article on checkmark again I would put the link in the description and what I'm going to do is I would right click come to this sheet here I right click and go to view code and here it opens the VB editor and it opens the code window for that sheet so in, on the left here you can see I have the workbook which is checkmark dot xlsx and i have all these sheets and this is the sheet where the code window already gets opened i would simply paste this code here but just to quickly tell you what is happening this code works whenever so this code gets executed whenever you double click and this is an event before double click event that i've specified and it checks whether the target column is column number two or not now in this case it is you can change this if you want if you want this to be any other column any other row then you can specify it here and it says if the target font name is equal to uh, so uh, it first changes the font to wingdings because the checkmark symbol only works with wingdings font and it says if target dot value is blank then if it is blank it would insert this symbol which is uh, the symbol for a check mark in wingdings and if it already has something it would remove it and make it blank that's it and now if i go back and i double click on it see what happens it would insert a check mark but if i double click on it again it would remove it so you can create this kind of to-do list or project task list and you can simply say this is done this task is done this task is done this task is done in case you want to revert it you can simply double click and it would go away now i've created a very simple code you can also make it a little more uh, useful by uh, by adding uh, more conditional formatting so in this case if you want that as soon as you double click on it and you get the tick mark you want this uh, task to be crossed off then you can do that using conditional formatting just say that if there is anything use the formula say if there is anything in the cell uh, simply apply the strike through formatting in this case uh, so this is how you can use VBA and a very simple code uh, to make something which is very useful and you can increase the user friendliness of this task list and make it very very useful just by using this code and adding these check marks so that's it in this video I hope you found this video useful also if you like this video please like it share it with your friends and subscribe to this YouTube channel so that you get notification whenever I come up with new videos thank you and have a nice day